Disney. Hello, hello. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How was your day? I went to the groceries today with my mother. In few things, $200. <laughs> and no meat, not even chicken. <laughs> Well, I, I don't I don't get beans neither, just uh, lentils. We have no beans there today. How uh, are the things in El Salvador? Do you have almost the same? at the grocery store or do you have do uh, there is a lack of products tienen casi lo mismo de antes o les hacen falta cosas cuando van al super or al mercado. Hello. Can you hear me? Pardon? Creo que nos hacen falta, teacher. Todo ha subido de precio. Everything is high. Well, I started a year, a year ago. Well, Three years ago, I started uh, doing compost. Then a year ago, I started to plant things. Right now, I have a very large uh, crop of uh, um, spinach, carrots, uh, Popos, papayas, eh, other other uh, things for cooking like silan uh, colander, eh, albahaca. Okay, so. I guess that we should start to try to grow things in our, if you don't have a garden, use uh, recycled beans, like uh, the, the gallons where you buy uh, water, you, you may use it if, uh, to, to make like pots to grow things. I have many of them with different things. And the compost is nice because uh, I had a popo that right now has like 40 popos, 40 papayas. They are not big, but because the, the popo tree is very young, it started giving fruits when it was just three months old. Right now it's only five months old, but it grows fast in, in the compost. And the fruit is delicious. I never have tried a popo that tastes so good. 
normalmente las papayas son así como algo insípidas, pero esas que, que, que yo tengo que han nacido ahí en la composta están deliciosas, súper dulces. Deberían de intentarlo. Today you are very quiet. What happened? Are you tired? The middle oh, of the yes. <laughs> yes, <sir. laughs> I guess that you went to the to the to the to the concentration in, in Los Angeles. That's why you are tired. <laughs> I was very it was very funny that the the guy that the guy that is, is always talking bad things about the, the president. He went to the to the to the the gathering and he was saying i am all alone here nobody comes everybody told me that they will come and, and i am alone here <laughs> i said ridiculous <laughs> uh, <laughs> poor guy i don't know why he decided to go if he is against what for? All the people against him. Poor boy. Now, uh, have you checked the, the PPT I sent you yesterday? Yes. Revisaron el PPT? Yes. Okay, if you notice, yes. there, were, there were the, the other things I told you there, uh, how to make sentences, the rules for the third person singular, and all that, you, you may use it. Uh, we will finish what we have to do today uh, for uh, class number six, and then we go back to the, to the, to uh, last, to yesterday's yesterday's PPT to continue with the exercise. You were doing well. You were doing good sentences. It's nice. <clears throat> now. The end product of education should be a free creative man who can battle against historical circumstances and adversities of nature. Okay. The end product of an education should be a free creative man who can battle against historical circumstances and adversities of nature. Nice. Okay. <coughs> We have to be free and creative, okay? To battle against historical circumstances. That means that we have, if, if in the past, uh, we had no more, no many opportunities. We had to battle against those things, those adversities and circumstances and Go ahead okay. and improve like you are doing right now. This, this uh, program that you are taking is a good decision because you are improving. Uh, when you finish these uh, courses, you may say, I know English, I can express myself in English. And it, it's, it's a plus for all of you. I congratulate you. It's not it's not easy after uh, being working all day. Come to this class and even go to to work in the platform at different hours because I know that it, uh, 
it takes time, but it's good for you. And congratulations, continue that way. It's good for you. And if you notice, you have other options in InSafort. If you already have taken a, a course like this, you may take another courses. And as many courses as you got, is the better that you will be, okay? Now, in this, in this lesson, participants will listen to sentences stress in order to improve pronunciation. Okay, this is for sentence stress. Now, listen, please. I want you to pay attention to the stress given to the important words when speaking. In this lesson, participants will listen to sentence stress in order to improve pronunciation. Sentence stress. Notice that the important words in a sentence have more stress. Excuse me. They're perfect. I like the blue one. They're not very attractive. The idea is that the important words in a sentence have more stress to improve pronunciation. Sentence stress. Notice <laughs> that the important words in a sentence have more stress. Excuse me. Now repeat. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse, Excuse me. me. They're perfect. 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 I like the blue one. 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 They're not very attractive. They're not very attractive. They're not, they are not, not very, very attractive. attractive. They're not very attractive. They are not very attractive. Well, uh, this is uh, an extra thing that I I bring for you. Sentence stress is the music of spoken English. Like word stress, sentence stress can help you to understand spoken English. Even rapid spoken English sentence stress is what gives English its rhythm or beat. You remember that word stress is accent on one syllable within a word. Sentence stress is accent on certain words within a sentence. Most sentences have to be six types of word. Word, uh, content words are the key words of a sentence. They are the important words that carry the meaning or sense, the real content. Structure words. Structure words are not very important words. They are small, simple words that make the sentence correct grammatically. They give the sentence its correct form, its structure. If you remove the structure words from a sentence, you will probably still understand the sentence. If you remove the content words from a sentence, you will not understand the sentence. The sentence has no sense or meaning. Imagine you receive this telegram message, sell, car, gone, friends. This sentence is not complete. It is not grammatically correct. 
is not a grammatically correct sentence, but you probably understand it. These four words communicate very well. Somebody wants you to sell their car for them because they have gone to France. We can add a few words. Sell my car, I've gone to France. The new words do not really add any more information, but they make the message more correct grammatically. We can add even more words to make one complete grammatically correct sentence, but the information is basically the same. Will you sell my car because I've gone to France? In our sentence, the four key words, sell, car, gone, France, are accentuated or stressed. Why is this important for pronunciation? It is important because it adds music to the language. It is the rhythm of the English language. It changes the speed at which we speak and listen to the language. The time between each stress word is the same. In our sentence, there is one syllable between cell and car and three syllables between car and gone. But the time between cell and car and between car and gone is the same. We maintaining a constant beat on the stress words. To do this, we say my more slowly and because I've more quickly. We change the speed of the small structure words so that the rhythm of the key content words stays the same. Will you sell my car because I've gone to France? Okay, bit, 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 okay. Now, I am professional for, for photographer whose main interest is to take special black and white photographs that exhibit abstract meaning is their photographic structure. The ones that are in capital letters are the ones that are that has to be stressed. Sentence rules, sentence stress rules. We uh, have words that carry meanings like main verbs, nouns, adjectives, adverbs, and negative auxiliaries. For example, main verbs, sell, give, employ. Uh, nouns, car, music, marry. Adjectives, red, big, interesting. Adverbs, quickly, why, never. Negative auxiliaries, don't, aren't, can't. Those has to be stressed, okay? The structure words that are unstressed. Pronouns, he, we, they. Prepositions, on, at, into. Articles, a, and, the. Conjunctions, and, but, because. Auxiliary verbs, do, be, have, can, must. Those are on stress. You don't have to stress them, okay? Now. Do you have any questions about vocabulary or do you understand what I'm telling you about? This is not in the platform. I'm adding it to you. Esto no está yes, en la plataforma. Teacher. Esto se lo he agregado yo. Por eso, se lo, por eso se los estoy leyendo yo para que vayan escuchando también. Pero retrocedí para que ustedes lo vayan leyendo también. Ahorita vamos a, 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 a practicar ustedes. Pero quiero saber si necesitan ayuda con algún vocabulario. Eh, yes, teacher. Is uh -huh. reading... 
English. Rhythm. El ritmo. Eh, el ritmo. Ah, ok. Ok. Uh -huh. ¿Qué you. más? ¿De aquí? Bien, entonces vamos a ir eh, leyendo así, este, tomando turnos hasta el primer punto. Voy a empezar yo y después yo escojo. Sentence stress is the music of spoken English. Juan Carlos. Eh, <laughs> teacher, it's the coma. <laughs> no. The, the first uh, period is after spoken English. Period, um, period. Usted tiene que leer hasta el punto y de ahí escoge alguien más. Eh, empiezo desde sentence, teacher. No. Empecé no, yo. Yo ya sí, empecé, no. ¿verdad? Que no venía siguiendo, pero les digo read. Ahí comienza, teacher. <laughs> yo, sentence yo, is yo, stress, no. that's given. Sí, pero yo dije... Sentence stress is the music of spoken English. Y ahí ah. es el primer punto. Y después lo llamé a usted para que usted continuara. Thank you, teacher. Sentence stress is what give. English it ring or the beat. And, and next is Ana yeah, Margarita. No, uh -huh, uh -huh. Go ahead. Ana Margarita. Ana. You render that word stress is absent in home. Is love. Syllable. 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 We think a word. Ahí, hasta ahí. O llame a alguien más. Call someone else to continue. Elizabeth del Carmen, Mejia. Okay. Thank you. Sentence stress in a sense. On certain words within a sentence. Okay. Call someone else. Uh, Katia Elizabeth Stan. <clears throat> uh, Doris Jasmine. Uh, Doris. Yes, teacher. Uh huh. Eh, ¿De dónde era? Desde ahí. <clears throat> ah, es sentence street. Most sentence. Ah, oh, okay. Most sentences have two basic types of words. Basic basic types of words. Uh, basic type of words. Mm -hmm. Context word. In context word are the key words of a sentence. They are. Hasta ahí. Another okay. one. Hasta el punto. Hasta el punto. Okay. Uh -huh. el, hey, no, hey, no me esté manchando, no en... <risa> eh, Katherine Irasema. Ajá, uh -huh. Katherine Irasema. Uh, they are the they are the import word that carry the the meaning meaning or sense. ¿Cómo se pronuncia esa parte? Sense the real content. Sense the real content. Okay. Call someone else. Um, voy a ver el listado que no me aparece. Ah, es entonces... Nilson García. Okay. Structured words. Structured words are not very important words. Okay, hasta ahí. Someone else. Rafael Cruz Amaya. Rafita. Rafita. They are a small sam sample word that make the sentence correct grammatical. Grammatically. 
de grammatically. Mm -hmm. Call someone else. Daniel. They give the sentence its correct form, its structure. Okay. Its correct form. Okay. Someone else? Mm, Jessica Castro. Jessica Castro. Okay. If you remove the structured words from a sentence, you will probably still understand the sentence. Okay, someone else? Emma Yamilet. If you remove the content words for a sentence, you will not understand the sentence. Okay, someone else? <laughs> Yancy mm. Andrea. If you remove the content words from no, the sentence, the sentence, okay, the sentence has no sense, no sense, meaning. has no sense, no or meaning. The sentence has no, has sense. no sense or meaning. Que o sea, sense. No tiene sentido. La oración no tiene sentido o significado. So, if you remove the structure words, there's no problem. But if you move content words, eh, the, the sentence has no sense, no tiene sentido or meaning o significado. Okay? But this is, these are the ones in yellow eh, with capital letters are... Eh, content words, okay? And the ones in uh, small letters, in uh, pink, they are structure words. So they are not important for the meaning, okay? If you see this cell car gone friends, you may understand it. Okay, you you have no contact with telegrams, but I did. Okay, and uh, since you have to pay for uh, for each um, letter in a telegram, then the shorter you made a telegram, the better for you, because you pay less. Okay, because uh, before before we had uh, uh, cell phones or telephones, uh, we we communicate through telegram in in long distances, and they had to each each uh, each letter was a set of uh, uh, dots and slashes because it was clave morse, okay? Morse, the, the, and that's why the, the people uh, tried to send the shorter, the better, but they had to keep a telegram that could be understand by the people, okay? Then if you receive something like this, you may understand it. This will be better, okay? And this is more complete, but this will be much, much more expensive in a telegram, okay? So, now uh, call somebody else, please. Jancy? Emma, okay. Hello, Emma.
Emma. What happened? Hello. Okay. Uh, read, please. Um, imagine that you received this Telegram message. So, car gone, friends. Okay. Now, someone else? Choose someone else to continue. Natalia Ayala. Okay, thank you. Uh, ¿Dónde se quedó ella, perdón? Eh, she read this one. You have to read this one. Ah, okay. Empiezo entonces. Yes. Eh, senten ah, okay, gracias. Sentence stress. This sentence, sentence is not complete. Okay. Someone else. Te tocó de las más cortitas. <laughs> someone else. Call someone else. You have to call him or her. Ay, sorry, sorry. Mm -hmm. um, Ana Margarita. Okay, thank you. Ana Margarita. Is it not grammarly? Grammarly? Correct. Grammatically. 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 Correct sentence. But, okay, someone else? No se les olvide que tienen que mencionar quién continúa. Ruth Abigail. Okay, thank you. Ruth Abigail. Se quedó ella. But you probably. Okay. These four words communicate very well. Okay. San Maria. Thank you. Somebody wants. You know, but you probably understand it. Esa se les olvidó. <laughs> ¿Me escuchan? Yes. Uh -huh. I did it. <laughs> they was, that's why they, they go to the other one. Se quedó, creo, esa parte donde dice, but you probably understand, understand it. Y, de, y ella continuó con this four word com okay. communication okay. very well. Yes. Thank you. Uh -huh. Now, someone else, please. Okay. Ahorita. Uh, Sandra Noemi. Thank you. Somebody want you to sell, they sell, sell, sell their car. Their car for. For them. For them because they have gone to France. Okay, thank you. Now again, somebody wants you. Repeat. Some, somebody wants somebody you. Wants you. Somebody, somebody wants you. To sell their car for them. To sell, to sell, car sell their car for, for, them. for them. Because they have gone to France. Because, because they, they have gone, gone, to gone to France. A ella le tocó la más la, de las más largas. Okay, now someone else, please. Okay. 
Edwin. Vladimir. Okay. Thank you. We can add a few words. Uh -huh. uh, read the sentence. Sell my car. If gone to France. I've I've gone. I've gone to France. Okay, thank you. Now call someone else. Um. Uh, Lewis. 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 <laughs> Hi. The new words. Uh, the new words do not really add any more information, but they make the message more correct grammatically. Okay, él se emocionó. Venía con todo. <laughs> Ay, perdón, no, no, el, just, no just another one. <laughs> just another one, please. Um, este JC Payán. JC. Okay. Weekend, ¿verdad, teacher? Yes. We can add even more work to make one complete grammatically correct sentence. Okay, as someone else, please. Eh, Lorena Reyes. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. But the information is basically the same. We'll just sell my car because I've gone to friends. Okay, thank you. Someone else? Um, Giselle Canales. Hello. Can you hear me? Yes. Uh, okay. The whole paragraph for this one. In a, oh, okay. Uh, in our sentence, the four K words: uh, sale, car, gone, friends, are accentuated or stressed. Okay, thank you. Now, ask someone yeah. else. Um, uh, let me see. Sofia Castaneda. Sophie, why is the why is this is important for pronunciation? It is important because it adds music to the language. Okay, thank you. Someone else. Uh, um, Bella. Bella Lorena Reyes. Okay, thanks. Sorry. Um, I, I am lost right now. Could you help me? What is the... Um, it, okay, thank you. It is prism of the English language. Okay, thank you. Someone else? Um, let me see. Monica Marisol. Thanks. Okay. Desde donde teacher? It, it changes. changes. It changes. It changes the speed at which we speak and listen to the language. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Now, the time between each stress word is the same. Okay, someone else? 
Natalie Patricia. In our sentence, there is a there, there is one, one syllable between cell and car and three syllables between car on and gone. Okay. Mm. Doris, Yasmin, Chacón. Thank you. Doris. Yes, teacher. Eh, desde el inicio. Uh -huh. eh, in... No, no. Ella, ella ya leyó esto hasta aquí. Oh, okay. sigue con okay. But the time between cell and car, uh -huh. and between car and go, go, in the same. Ok, thank you. Entendieron eso, ¿verdad? Que, por ejemplo, estas son las cuatro, las cuatro oraciones, eh, las cuatro eh, palabras principales, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Las que le dan sentido a la oración. Entonces, antes de cel hay dos sílabas. Entre cel y car hay una sílaba. Entre car y gone hay tres. Y entre gone y France hay una. Pero el tiempo que usted se va a tomar en leer esto va a ser lo mismo que este, este, este y este. Aunque tengan más sílabas. Entonces, ¿cómo va a hacer usted eso? Unas cosas las va a leer más rápidas y otras cosas las va a leer como más lentas. ¿Verdad? Para que todo, todo lleve como el mismo tiempo. Así como cuando eh, hay una partitura de música y en los mismos, en el mismo octavo, usted tiene que escribir ya sea poquitas o bastantes. Entonces, lo que hace es que eh, le da diferentes figuras porque hay una figura que vale cuatro tiempos, una que vale dos una que vale uno, otra que vale medio, ¿verdad? Entonces usted de acuerdo a eso lo va haciendo, entonces es lo mismo aquí, porque por eso es que estamos diciendo que es como música ¿verdad? Porque es que va haciéndose como más alargado ¿se han fijado que cuando algunas veces cantan como que alargan más una cosa eh, que otras entonces lo mismo en el lenguaje por eso yo siempre digo que lo mejor para aprender un idioma es escuchar música en ese idioma ok now thank you someone else yeah. No mencionó. Eh, Mónica Marisol. Thank you. Ok. Mónica. Aquí estoy. <laughs> But the time, ¿cierto? No. We, we, we maintain. Ok. We maintain a constant bit on the streets words. Ok. Now, thank you. Uh, Kevin Daniel. Kevin. To do this, we say my more slowly and because I more quickly. Okay, thank you. Who else? Mm, Edwin. Oh, Sigo, entonces. Okay. We change. Oh, we change the speed of the small structure words so that the reading of the key content words stay the same. Okay, thank you very much. Now, will you sell my car because, uh, will you, will you sell my car because I've gone to France? Will you sell my car because I've gone to France? Yeah. Written. Now. Uh, this is another example. 
the lower ones, the lower cases, are structured words and uh, are um, uh, not stressed, and these ones are stressed. Okay. Now, here uh, these are some rules for sentence stress. The words that you have to stress are the main verbs, nouns, adjectives, adverbs, and negative auxiliaries. And they are the examples. And the ones that are on stress, that are structured words, are pronouns, prepositions, <clears throat> articles, conjunctions, and auxiliary verbs. If you notice, the negative auxiliaries are stressed, <clears throat> but the auxiliaries not stressed. Okay. And the nouns are stressed, but the pronouns are unstressed. <clears throat> now, exceptions. The rules above are for what is called neutral or normal stress. But sometimes we can stress a word that could normally be only a structured word. <clears throat> for example, to correct information, look at the following dialogue. They've been to Mongolia, haven't they? No, no. they haven't. <clears throat> But we have. Those are pronouns and they are stressed. Why? Because it is important, okay, to correct the information. They haven't, but we have, okay? Not that when B is used as a main verb, it is usually unstressed, even so. As a main verb, mm -hmm. it is also a content word. Okay. And this is for a stress sentence stress with. Okay. We may do it right now, or I can give it to you in WhatsApp, and you may do it whenever you want. It's not an exam or a quiz from from the from the platform that's why it is not a must o sea, no es algo que usted tenga que hacer porque no es obligatorio porque no es de la plataforma esto es algo solo para verificar si lo que lo que usted recibió lo entendió o no lo entendió Ok, o sea, es solo eh, algo como para retarse usted mismo. ¿Verdad? Se los voy a mandar ahorita al, permítanme, no sé, copio. Al chat. Al chat de WhatsApp. Espérense que no, no se quiere ir. Aquí está. Ah. ¿No se quiere ir? Está de necio. Vamos a ver. No lo copia. ¿Por qué será? No, no lo copia. Este, se lo voy a mandar después entonces. O voy a procurar mandarles ahorita el PPT. Tal vez del PPT lo pueden sacar ustedes. Ve, ya se los mandé. que estas cosas cuando quieren trabajan y cuando no quieren no les da la gana
Ok. Entonces, este, cuando lo puedan ver, lo miran. Y como les digo, no es obligación porque no es de la plataforma. Esto es algo solo porque, como les dije, esto que les acabo de poner es información que yo se las estoy dando. O sea, no es ni de la plataforma. ¿Por qué? Porque me gusta investigar de más, porque me gusta dar de más, porque siempre doy más de lo que me piden. De extra mile. Okay, in this lesson, participants will listen to a conversation and will be introduced to comparison with adjectives by expressing preferences. Okay. Now, let's listen to the dialogue. Which one do you prefer? In this lesson, participants will listen to a conversation and will be introduced to comparison with adjectives by expressing preferences. Which one do you prefer? Look, these jackets are really nice. Which one do you prefer? I like the wool one better. The wool one? Why? It looks warmer. Well, I like the leather one better. It's more stylish than the wool one. Hmm, there's no price tag. Excuse me, how much is this jacket? It's $499. Would you like to try it on? Uh, no, that's okay. But thanks anyway. You're welcome. Notice how the girls are talking about their preferences. In the next class, we will study how to express preferences and comparisons. I like the wool one better. The look, deep adjectives by expressing preferences. Which one do you prefer? Look, these jackets are really nice. Which one do you prefer? I like the wool one better. The wool one? Why? It looks warmer. Well, I like the leather one better. It's more stylish than the wool one. Hmm, there's no price tag. Excuse me, how much is this jacket? It's $499. Would you like to try it on? Uh, no, that's okay. But thanks anyway. You're welcome. Notice how the girls are talking about their preferences. In the next class, we will study how to express preferences and comparisons. Okay. Now. Look, these jackets are really nice. Which one do you prefer? Repeat, please. Look, look, look these jackets are really nice. Which one do you prefer? I like the wool one better. I like the wool one better. The wool one. Why? The Why? It looks warmer. It, it looks, looks warmer. 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 Well, I like the letter one better. It's more well. stylish than the wool one. Well, I like the other one. It's more stylish than the other one. There is no price tag. Mm, there is no price tag. Excuse me, how much is this jacket? Excuse, Excuse me, how much is this jacket? It's four hundred ninety nine. It's four hundred ninety nine. Could you like to try it on? Would you like to try it on? Uh, no, that's okay. But thanks anyway. Oh, oh no, 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 that's okay. That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. Anyway, 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 you're welcome. Oh, no. You're welcome. No, 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 no. welcome. Me imagino que estaba fuera del presupuesto. 
<risa> pero yo por lo menos me lo hubiera probado. <risa> Para, para saber si me quedaba, para saber cómo me quedaba y para empezar a ahorrar para comprármela. Yo, I had, uh, cuando, cuando empezaron a salir los pasarrillos, eh, one of my mother's uh, friend sells, sells clothing. Y yo fui y me, traté de medir, fíjense bien, traté de medir. O sea, me quedó como así de abierto, ¿verdad? Donde no me entraba la panza. Y, y me fascinó el, 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 el pasarrillo, estaba precioso. Me le quedé viendo a la amiga de mi mamá y le dije, guárdemelo por dos meses. Yo vengo por él en dos meses. Y mamá, pero si no te queda y que no sé qué, me va a quedar. <risa> y cabal, a los dos meses regresé y ya me quedaba. <risa> I have motivation. Tenía motivación. Me quité todas las azúcares, eh, nada de gaseosas, uh -huh. este, nada de, 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 de pan, y a comer menos de lo que solía comer y a ir a clases de natación. En dos meses me quedó. Y yo estaba súper orgullosa con mi... Con mi Pasar <risa> Entonces ahora van a ser tres, fíjense bien, porque es Anne, es su en the clerk. The three volunteers, de preferencia dos jovencitas y un jovencito. Ok, now, Eden Nilsson, you will be the clerk. Uh, Giselle, you will be Anne, and Jessica, you will be Sue. Okay. Giselle. Okay. Uh, look, these jackets are really nice. Which one do you prefer? I like the wool one better. The wool one? Why? It looks warmer. Well, I like the leather one better. It's more established than the wool one. Um, there is no price tag. Excuse me, how much is it this jacket? It's 499. Would you like to try try it on? Mm, no, that's okay, but thanks anyway. You're welcome. Okay, thank you. Now, other three volunteers. Uh, Sophia, you will be Anne. Jancy, you will be Sue. Um, Ana Margarita, you will be the clerk. Okay. Uh, okay. Look, these jackets are really nice. Which one do you prefer? Yo soy su, ¿verdad? Yes. Okay, I like the wool one better. Uh, the wool one? Why? It looks warmer. Well, I like the leather one better. It's more stylish than the wool one. Mm, there is no price tag. Excuse me, how much is the jacket? It, it, it for nine your wool to lay is it off. Oh no, that's okay, but thanks anyway. You're welcome. Okay, thank you. Is good you like to try it on? Good you like to try it on? Most of the time we use good you like. Good you like. Good, Te you, gustaría? Like. good, good you like. Te gustaría to try it on? Like. Medírtela o probártela. Okay. Now, 
Jessica Castro, you will be Anne. Elizabeth del Carmen, you will be Sue. And Bella Lorena, you will be the clerk. <coughs> Look, look, these jackets are really nice. Which one do you prefer? I like the wool one better. The wool one? Why? It looks warmer. Well, I like the leather one better. It's more stylish than the wool one. Mm, there is no price tag. Excuse me, how much is this jacket? It's 40, sorry, it's 49.99. We'll just try it to, sorry, sorry. 499. 499. Yes. Uh -huh. It's 499. Would you like to try it on? Oh, no, that's okay, but thanks anyway. You're welcome. Okay, thank you very much. Que se hizo el tiempo. Okay. Eh, ah, pero hasta aquí llegamos. Eh, ¿Alguien más que quiera participar? Other three volunteers. Recuérdense que siempre le doy un poco más del tiempo. Alguien más? No. My, uh, this week, okay, Sar Sara Maria, who else? Yes. Juan Carlos, are you going to help us? Okay. Okay, then, uh, and Monica Marisol, we are complete. Um, Sara Maria, you are Anne. Monica, you are Sue. And Juan Carlos, you are the clerk. Okay. Look, this jacket are really nice. With which one do you prefer? I like the wool on better. The wool one, which? It's not warmer. It's not which, it's why, why? Why? Mm -hmm. Which is arriba? Which is this one? Which is uh -huh. this why? one is why? Okay, why? Why, why? why is por qué? Por qué? The word why? Um. Well, well, I like the leather on the weather. It's more stylish than the wool one. Mm -hmm. Mm, there is no price tag. Excuse me, how much, how much is this jacket? It is 499. Would you like to try it on? Oh, no. The, that, how do you say that? That's, oh, that's, that's okay. That, that's okay. But yes. thank anyway. You're welcome. Okay, thank you very much. Now, remember that this week we will be uh, developing the middle test, okay? So tomorrow we will be finished uh, the section three and also reading, just reading the middle test. And on Thursday we will be uh, and checking the middle test. That means that you have to have it for Thursday, complete, okay? Take care, see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow, teacher. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye, take care. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, teacher.